Current top polling shows 83 percent of Americans describe the current state of the economy as poor. This comes alongside President Biden's approval numbers continuing to drop, approaching the midterms uh, in November. Joining us now is Frank Luntz, pollster and political analyst. And in, in your long career, Frank, uh, we've seen some, I guess, other periods where inflation finally rears its ugly head, but it's been a long time, long time, but few things really get the juices flowing, uh, like seeing a grocery bill or a gas bill and just going, whoa. I mean, that, that really is, uh, it, it affects everyone and, and it's visceral, I think. Are you, are you seeing that in polling? Uh, yes, we are. And the tragedy is that we've tried to explain this to the Biden administration because they're the ones that need to know and they've refused the presentation so on your show, I'm going to tell you what I would have told them if they had only listened. We are 13 days away from an absolute explosion on inflation. There are three holidays, there are three moments when Americans take to the roads and when Americans buy more food than at any other time of the year. Christmas, Thanksgiving, and the 4th of July weekend. And everyone's going to be filling up their car 13 days from now, and they can't put $40 or $50 in their tank they actually have to fill it up, and that's when the explosion hits. They can't just buy 80% of what they want. They have to fill their shopping carts for the barbecues and the, and the cookouts. And 13 days from now, the American people are going to come face-to-face -face with these higher prices and face-to-face -face with the fact that they can't afford it. You have to go back to 2009, 13 years ago to find a time when these economic numbers are as bad as they are today. And the difference is that back then it affected roughly 60 percent of the population. Now, with inflation, no matter who you are, no matter where you live, no matter how much you make, you're impacted by it. And that impact will be, will be felt shortly. And finally, Donald Trump misidentified the stock market as being the aspect of the American economy that people related to and they decided whether things were good or bad. Joe Biden is misidentifying jobs. Right now, you only have a tiny percentage of Americans that feel in any way insecure or unaffected. But inflation touches everyone everywhere. And unless he gets this inflation under control, where people are not exasperated and are not furious and anxious and angry, Unless he does something immediately, this is going to affect the midterms. This is already affecting his popularity. And quite frankly, Joe Biden is the most unpopular president at this moment in his term since Jimmy Carter. You'd have to go back to 1978 for the last time a president had ratings this low. Do, do, when you're conducting polls, and I'm sure you're asking not just how is inflation affecting you and how important it is, but you must ask for for who do you think caused it? Who do you think is responsible? What do you get? Do you, the, the Putin price hike, how many people buy into that? I guess they might say maybe part of it is that, but how many think that that's the main reason that, that we're in this uh, situation? That, and that's the right question to ask for a political impact. And a significant percentage, about a third, blame the war in Ukraine for what's happening, although we're not even talking about the shortages. Right now, you can get food, but it's really expensive. With what we know is going to come out of Ukraine in the months to follow, we're not even going to be able to get the food by the time we go into the early fall. And again, I don't think the Biden, the Biden administration is afraid of the political impact, so they're downplaying the personal impact. And the truth is they should be candid. The other thing that people blame, about 25 percent, are corporations for taking the opportunity for charging too much. And again, the Biden administration is trying to blame ExxonMobil and companies like that for the reason why gas prices are so high. The key is not who they blame. The fundamental key is who they think is trying to solve it. And this is where the administration comes up short. It was the biggest mistake, and I'm a language person, and that word that they used again and again for the first couple months that this is only transitory, there are millions of people literally millions, who now know what that word means and now blame the administration for not doing more. So looking backward, they're not necessarily blamed for having ignored it or for having not done enough. 
But looking forward, they're absolutely held responsible for why this problem is getting worse and worse. And mark my words, 13 days from now is when it's going to hit its peak. Right now, one third of Americans believe inflation is the number one issue. I believe that's going to climb to 40% in the weeks to follow.